All right, pizza review time. American, I'm getting muscled by this fucking tray here. I couldn't spread my elbows out. Um, American flatbread. This one's been the pipeline for beginning when it was all the rage of the ones you can buy in every supermarket. A lot of people said American flatbread. I like it thin. Flatbread obviously insinuates thin, uh, crispy, crackery-like crust, so it could be up my alley. Handcrafted to perfection. Um, American flatbread. And yeah, I see the news, people. I'm not fucking blind. I see the news. There's a frozen pizza shortage. A lot of people blaming me. It's Corona. It's not me. I'm just doing my best to tell you what's the best. Get it? Uh, so American flatbread. One bite, everyone knows the rules. All right, pizza review time. Uh, American flatbread. I got to be honest. When I saw it come out of the... Um, like the packaging, I was like, oh, what's going on? Because there was green basil, basil all over the place. And it's, you know, I, I, to me, that's a little bit tricky. Like with homemade tomato sauce, mozzarella, select Vermont cheeses, garlic oil, fresh herbs. Mm, maybe leave the herbs out. Like just throw the number one down. I've said it. Give me the uh, mozzarella. Give me the tomato sauce. But when you start making it look, whoa, I'm so fucking quick. Like that, like, like, right, uh, let, let's, um, Doc Holiday. <laughs> that fucking quick. All right, let's see what we got here. One bite, everyone knows the rules. My pizza cutter is a monster. Just cutting through it like it's not even fucking a thing. Like it's not even a fucking thing. One bite, everyone knows the rules. American flatbread. I like the name. It's like, you throw America in there and I'm like fucking saluting. American flatbread, let's see what we got. One bite. I thought it was gonna be actually like, with all the mucho grass about all the stuff going on, all the tomatoes, the three cheeses. I thought it would have a weirder taste when I say weirder, more distinct, but it really doesn't. Um, tastes really good. You just don't eat an American flatbread pizza. You experience it. That's why we're serious about what goes in and out of our pizza. There's the sourcing. We get our cheese straight from farms we trust and love. I just spit. Then there's quality. Our ingredients have to be fresh, handled properly, only the best. Quantity is important. So is balance. Getting all the flavors and re recipes to play well together. They're not fucking around, huh? It's pretty good shit. Feels light. Like I could do a dance, a ballet, a Baryshnikov first. Do ah, you want to see it? Do I want, not, do I have to do a Baryshnikov now? Fine, I'll fucking do a Baryshnikov now. Real quick, this is a Baryshnikov. That's a Baryshnikov, back to the pizza. I almost missed my seat, that would have been disaster. I would have put it in, everything goes in. See, we're, we're so confused now in the frozen pizza game because I started mixing in, like, uh, you know, uh, Lou Malnati's. I got all spat with them yesterday, but everything's good. Um, you know, what's a place in New Haven that's got the best? Lou Car no, um, Lou Cardi's? Zoo, Zoo, Zoo Cardi's? Zoo Pelli's? Whatever, like I'm doing individual places that they should have better frozen pizza than the ones that you find in the supermarket that don't have, like you can't walk into an American flatbread, New Haven, for example. So the scaling's getting a little confusing, but this is good. Real good frozen pizza, actually. I go way better than like the DiGiorno's of the world, and I think it's better than Red Baron, and obviously it's better than Floppy Piece of Shit Jacks. Uh, no, 7-1. This is really good, healthy frozen pizza. If you can get your hands on it, American flatbread, 7 1, good quality pizza. All right, that's how we're gonna do this dance. Oh, that's how we're gonna do this dance? 7 1.